Hi everyone, in this video we'll explain everything about European Association of Cardiovascular Imaging Certification in Congenital Heart Disease Echocardiography Exam. As regards the schedule of the exam, the exam is usually delivered once per year, usually at the start of December or at the end of November. It's an online exam. Of course, this uh, good news as you don't have to travel to Europe uh, to take the exam. You can take it from your home. Registrations open three months period to the exam date, usually at August, and closes two weeks before the exam date. Any pediatric cardiologist all over the world can take the exam and the certificate as well as pre-exam training or fellowship in Europe are not required at all. No certain certificates or CV are required to uh, upload before the exam. As regards the exam fees, uh, there are uh, many options. Uh, my advice for you is the, to take the second option, uh, is to register for the silver membership of European Association of cardiovascular imaging before registering to the exam. Uh, this uh, will uh, save a lot of money for you, especially if your age uh, is below 40 years old or you are in training. As regards the exam delivery, the exam, of course, is online. It's accessible anywhere in the world. Uh, you can take it from your own device, uh, of course, your computer or laptop, uh, smartphones or uh, uh, tabs are not uh, allowed. Uh, the exam will be monitored by a human proctor online through a website called ProctorU. This website, ProctorU, you can log in and check your own device requirement before the exam. Uh, as the exam requires uh, a certain uh, speed for upload, for download, certain uh, criteria for your laptop, like uh, Windows 10, uh, some uh, RAM requirements, etc. So uh, log in uh, in ProctorU and check your device uh, requirements and the eligibility before uh, registering to the exam. The certification process uh, divided to two parts. First, the exam. Second is the logbook. The exam has two parts. Part one is reporting. This uh, part uh, includes 50 questions divided uh, to 10 equal congenital heart disease cases. Every case has five questions, so the total is 50, uh, 50 and the duration is uh, 90 minutes. Second part is theory exam. It's 75 questions and the duration is 110 minutes. Before the two bars, there are 10 minutes break. Uh, there is no negative marking and the answer is one single best answer. So let's see uh, this case example. Case one year old infant presented with recurrent chest infection, then uh, a short clip of echo, uh, its duration usually is three to five uh, seconds. Uh, you can see it and interpret and read the question and answer it. Uh, the example is uh, what are the findings in this uh, echo clip? The answers can be is the pre one plus is the secondum, or is the secondum with left right chunks, or is the secondum with right left chunks, or is the secondum with left right chunk and dilated coronary sinus. Uh, for sure, the correct answer is number D. Example 4, part 2, theory exam, uh, no echo uh, video clips, only direct question like which of the following has the highest temporal resolution, 2 to imaging, 2D imaging, in mode, 3D imaging, 2D images plus 
scalar flow, of course, the correct answer is number B. Exam preparation duration, it may take from one to six months of studying according to your level of expertise and hours of study per day. Personally, I studied about four months. The first three months uh, include one to two hours per day, then the last month, four to six hours per day. The curriculum includes uh, physics, uh, including ultrasound physics and imaging physics, uh, basic cardiac anatomy and physiology, uh, congenital heart defects and their treatment, acquired heart diseases, cardiac function assessment, uh, left ventricle assessment, right ventricle assessment. All of these are very important. As regards uh, study sources, uh, there are two uh, textbooks you can uh, study from. First is Echocardiography in Pediatric and Adult Congenital Heart Disease. Second is uh, the Echocardiography in Pediatric and Congenital Heart Disease from Fetus uh, to Adult. Of course, both are textbooks, both are uh, large books, and uh, it will take uh, a lot of time to study. Uh, so, uh, personally, I prefer uh, studying from uh, question-based books like Echocardiography Board Review, uh, 500 Multiple Choice Questions with Discussion. Second book, uh, which is uh, the most difficult one, Questions, Tricks and Tips of the Cardiography Boards. And finally, Clinic Echocardiography Review a Self Assessment Tool. As regards the exam results, you must pass both sections of the written exam, reporting, and theory to pass the exam, as one section is not enough. As regards, results are communicated to candidates within eight weeks after the examination. As regards the logbook, once you pass the exam, you can apply for the logbook part of certification if your logbook is ready. The application must be submitted no later than one year. You have one year after the exam to submit your logbook. If the deadline is not respected, you will repeat all the certification process from the start, including the exam. Second, the logbook is divided to two things. First, the logbook itself, including 250 cases in Excel sheet assigned by the supervisor. Then, 10 dopes with reports dopes uh, refer to direct observation of procedure skill and assigned by at least three assessors. We will explain both of them in the next slides. The 250 cases must reflect the normal load or the normal epidemiology of the congenital heart disease defects. For example, septation defects are the most common among all the congenital heart defects, so the majority of your cases should include septation defects. You should include all the following uh, defects like valvular heart disease, uh, suspected endocarditis, obstructive lesions, cardiomyopathies, coronary anomalies, post-operative uh, cases, and of course normal cases. But remember, no more than 30% of the studies should be normal studies. So it's about 80 cases can be normal and the rest has uh, some defects to explain. Notes for logbook, the cases in logbook must have collected uh, one year before the exam to one year after the exam. So you have two years duration, the cases must cover all of this duration, one year before, one year after. Of course, no transphagial echo or fetal echo cases are allowed or included. The exam is about transthoracic echo. Uh, no speckle tracking, no 3D echo, no uh, transosial echo, no fetal echo, only transthoracic echo. As regards 
the logbook. The logbook should uh, include the following, uh, your candidate ID written here, then your supervisor first and last name. Notice your name is not included in the logbook. Then supervisor ID, then supervisor signature. Uh, you can take the electronic signature of the uh, supervisor and uh, put it in the logbook Excel sheet. Uh, this example of my own uh, logbook I have submitted. Uh, first column is uh, the number of the cases, then the study date, uh, then the type of the study, uh, which of course all of them will be transthoracic echocardiography. Uh, then you will, will include uh, the diagnosis uh, headline like right heart obstruction, left heart obstruction, septation defect, ventricular arterial disconcordance, etc. Then you will uh, write a comment, short comment for uh, your case. Uh, for example, like this case is critical pulmonary stenosis, velocity is uh, 6.5 meter per second, this plastic pulmonary valve right ventricular hypertrophy, tricuspid regurgitation, velocity is uh, 6 meters per second, and patent foramen ovale with right left shunt. The, the exam, uh, you can, uh, for the lookbook, add uh, a column for the weight, uh, for uh, the six, but remember, uh, no uh, ID or name of the patient, of course, can be included at the lookbook. Note regarding loops. Cardiac measurements in the normal range, like this course, should be included and interpretation of your findings like 2D, M mode, and Doppler, which I mean a full report, full echo report should be written. So uh, you will have uh, 250 cases in your lookbook. You will choose 10 cases of all your cases and represent these 10 cases in two sheets. The first sheet is the original echo report, full echo report you have written about this case. The second sheet is a sample paper, which will you download, you will download from the website of the exam. This sample paper will be written and completed by your assessors. You will have 10 loops for 10 cases for 10 patients. Three assessors will complete and uh, assign these sheets. After uh, uh, this, uh, the supervisor uh, can complete or uh, uh, write the summary of the loops completed. Uh, this sheet also a sample paper from uh, you will download from uh, the website of the exam includes the supervisor name and the number of the loops completed uh, and the range of the score uh, and here the mean uh, rates of score uh, any score uh, uh, from one to three uh, this will be a failing mark or a red uh, mark for your uh, loops so you will uh, then upload the lookbook and 10 loops and 10 uh, echo reports, original uh, echo reports, and the summary of the loops. The, the, uh, these four things will be uploaded to the site of uh, the association. As regards supervisor criteria, already be practicing pediatric congenital echocardiographer, all national or European specialist recognition in pediatric congenital cardiology or European Association uh, CVI certified echocardiography who has uh, held this exam certificate for more than one year. Uh, if your country of, uh, or your uh, hospital, uh, there is no uh, uh, supervisor uh, meeting this uh, uh, requirement. Uh, criteria, uh, you can uh, choose one of your uh, mentors in your department in the hospital and send uh, his CV to the committee uh, of the exam. Uh, they can revise uh, 
TCV and uh, uh, accept to be the supervisor uh, if he, he don't have uh, this uh, certification for more than one year or European specialty recognition. Uh, the supervisor rule, uh, he holds the responsibility to guarantee the practical competence of the candidate and check honesty and validity of the logbook and docs. Uh, complete the DOOP summary of all local assessors' scores of the 10 DOOPs and act uh, as one of the local DOOPs assessors. So you can have at least two uh, assessors besides the third assessor, which can be the same supervisor. Local assessors, there must be a minimum of three and maximum of 10 assessors per candidate for 10 DOOPs assessments. Criteria for the local assessors, any cardiologist practicing pediatric and adult congenital cardiology or a specialist sonographer who held uh, the same certification for more than one year. Um, the local assessors can be any cardiologist practicing uh, the congenital cardiology, but the supervisor need more uh, uh, criteria, which we have mentioned before. Then as regards logbook results, as soon as the logbook is compliant with the requir requirements, like uh, uh, there are no uh, ID for the patients or patient name, so the application will be sent for grading to the members of the committee, certification committee. Graders may require additional information from the candidate to provide their grading. Uh, like uh, ecomedia of uh, uh, some patients in the logbook or the reports, so you should keep a copy of all the 250 uh, eco cases uh, with you and also the reports. Results are sent by email within three months of submitting e logbook, and then after the results, the certificate will be sent to your email like this certificate. And thank you. I hope this video, you like this video, like our channel and subscribe for more videos. Thank you and goodbye.